Well, what's up guys, Jordan here, and I'm sure all of you guys have heard about Mac OS X Lion by now. Well, one of the downsides to Lion is that it's only available via download through the Mac App Store. So that means that you don't get a recovery disk like you used to with Snow Leopard, Leopard, and all the other previous operating systems. Now, there is a way that you can make a recovery disk for yourself if you have downloaded Lion, but you haven't actually installed it on your Mac yet. And I explain exactly how to do that in this video right here, so be sure to check that out. But if you have already downloaded and installed Lion on your Mac, you may be saying, well, what do I do? Well, Apple just released a program a couple days ago that enables you to turn a hard drive into a recovery drive for your Mac that is running Lion. Now the instructions that Apple has with this program aren't exactly the most thorough, detailed, and specific instructions. So that's why in this video I'm going to be going over in detail how to take your hard drive and turn it into a recovery drive, and I'm also going to be showing you some really important tips and tricks along the way that will really benefit you. Now the first step in this process is that you'll need to select which hard drive you're going to use as your recovery drive. Now you'll need one gigabyte of free space on whichever drive you choose to use to install all the recovery software. Now I would really recommend just going and dropping about 10 bucks and getting a one gigabyte flash drive and just designating that as the recovery drive for your Mac. Now I know some of you out there may be saying, well Jordan, the amount advertised on flash drives and hard drives isn't actually the amount that you get and I know I've already checked into all that and that whole uh, topic can become quite complicated quite quickly that's for another video for another time but just trust me on this uh, there is enough space on a one gigabyte flash drive to hold all the recovery software now you can also use a larger hard drive let's say a couple hundred gigs but you'll definitely definitely uh, want to partition it first and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that because if you don't partition it when you install the recovery software on the hard drive, it's you can only use the hard drive as a recovery drive. So you would be wasting potentially hundreds and hundreds of gigs of storage space just to hold one gigabyte of data. But if you choose to simply just buy a flash drive and install the recovery software, or if you want to first partition a larger hard drive, whichever one of these two that you do, you'll first need to back up all the information that's possibly on these hard drives because it, um, Installing the recovery software and partitioning the drive, both of these wipes out all the current data on your hard drives. So that's why we're going to go on over to my Mac now and I'm going to back up all the information that's on the hard drive that I'm going to turn into my recovery drive. Now it's very simple to back up the contents of your hard drive. Just simply create a new folder on your Mac and you name it something like uh, backup and then drag the contents from your hard drive onto that folder on your Mac or you could actually drag it into another hard drive as well. Now if you have a lot of content on the hard drive that you're trying to make into the recovery drive um, and you don't have any more free space on your computer I would recommend just going out and getting a flash drive to uh, make the recovery drive because it's going to be a lot of hassle trying to find the free space to back up the drive and then partition it and do all that. So just save yourself the trouble. But if you do have uh, lots of free space to temporarily store your content, then go ahead and you can partition the drive. Now once you have backed up your hard drive, go into Disk Utility and you can find Disk Utility under the Utilities folder in your Applications. And now it's loading up all the information about all the different drives that are connected to your computer. Just find the drive over here on the left hand side, then go under the Partitions tab and then select Two Partitions. And then you can go ahead and make this first one uh, one gigabyte. And I'm just going to name it uh, Recovery. And then I'm going to name this second one uh, 39 gigabytes or gigabyte. Um, now, under the format, uh, it doesn't really matter what you have the format as for the recovery uh, partition, but um, under the format of the rest of the hard drive, the how many ever gigs it may be. Um, if you're going to be using this hard drive with both Windows and Mac computers, you want to leave it as MS DOS. Uh, fat. You don't want to have uh, Mac OS extended journaled or case sensitive journaled 
as the format if you're going to be using it with Windows computers because I formatted a flash drive a couple years back like that and whenever I would take it into school it would never be able to be read by the Windows computers and I couldn't figure out for uh, quite a while what the problem was but anyways um, once you have partitioned it like you would like it uh, go ahead and select apply and then partition now as you can see over here on the right hand side of the desktop it looks like we have two separate hard drives connected to the computer but really it's just two separate partitions for the same drive now you can go to the link in the description and it'll bring you up to this page the lion recovery disk assistant and you can go ahead and download that and it'll just take a couple seconds to download and then you can go ahead and open it up now double click on recovery disk assistant and select that you do want to open it and then you'll need to agree to the uh, terms in the license agreement select agree and then select uh, recovery or whatever you named uh, that one gigabyte partition and then uh, yes we do know that any information on the selected drive or selected disk whatever you want to call it will be erased and then hit continue then enter your password and now it's creating the Mac OS X Lion recovery disk and this actually takes less than a minute now the Mac OS X Lion recovery drive was created successfully so to use this drive you just connect it to your computer make sure the drives on obviously and then hold down option as you boot up your Mac so I'm gonna be demonstrating this just to prove to you guys that this does work now right after you hear that chime hold down the option key and then we'll, then it will actually load up your internal Macintosh hard drive and the recovery drive that we just made and then there's actually a recovery drive that's part of your internal drive on your Macintosh but if anything ever happens with your internal drive it's nice to have an external recovery drive and not just be relying on that internal recovery drive but you can go ahead and use the arrow keys to shift on over to the to the recovery drive that we just made and then select enter to boot from this recovery drive now another benefit of having a recovery drive is that it's a whole lot quicker to boot up from the drive than it is to boot up from a recovery disk but as you can see it still takes a little bit of time to do so but um, anyways guys thanks so much for checking out this video be sure to leave any comments or questions that you may have down below be sure to subscribe for more great videos like this one also be sure to leave um, a comment down below telling me what your favorite and your least favorite feature in Lion is. But as you can see, um, it booted up from the drive very nicely and you have some features like restore from time machine backup, reinstall Mac OS X, um, you can get help online and you can also uh, open up disk utility and repair and erase disks and do all sorts of stuff. But anyways, guys, that's all for this video. Thanks again for checking it out and hopefully I'll see you in my next one real soon.